Hi, Virgos. I hope you're doing great. This is going to be your message. We'll jump right into it. I not saw the cards just yet, uh, but ooh, it looks exciting. So let's see what we have for Virgo. We start off with the Eight of Wands. There is someone or something coming in. It's going to be so much fun. That's what I'm getting for you, Virgo, because even though it's next to temptation, which can be like devilish energy, there's nothing bad about this. This is going to be like, holy Virgo. You have something great coming your way. It's going to sweep you off your feet. It's going to take you to another level. Um, this may lead to a commitment, a serious commitment. This may be exactly what you want for, wa waited for. I feel like these cards go there and these two go here because I almost feel like you want this person as much as they want you. Or like if you're the female, I feel like you might be the one that's a little bit like it goes back and forth. You know what you want. Um, this person wants you. You want them. I don't know. There's something here like that where it's like a very equally wanting energy. Um, wow. You've, you've really put this energy out there. You've asked for it. And it's like your wish is my command is what I'm getting here. You wanted passion. You stayed optimistic about it. And you got like... Very handsome, very handsome. Someone who's like, I'm getting clean. So I don't know. You know how sometimes people like me, I don't know if people are like judgmental or something. And then sometimes the people you think are not clean are like the cleanest people of all. I don't think this person comes across as not clean, but I think that they really take care of themselves. Um, this person may not work out. They may not have time to really work out or they may, you know, um, but like they, they just love to be fresh and so fresh and so clean type of energy is what I get. Um, wow. Because this person loves to love and this person loves to like be on you and breathe on you. And so they want to make sure everything's fresh. Okay. I know it sounds weird, but that's just the message I'm getting. So every group got one of these cards. We have a problem resolved card for you. I don't see any problems just yet, to be honest with you. I see um, this person may solve your problems. If you look at, we have like, there's more cards here. Well, let's start off with that. We'll see what else is coming up with the sun. Oh, wow. Well, being for, okay. So um, this person may have to go a lot because we have the hermit card um, to do whatever they have to do. They may have to take care of a lot of people. There may be a lot of people that just, you know, depend on them, to be honest. Maybe even that use them, but I don't think it's a real big problem. And I'm not saying they use them, that there's a lot of like, what I'm getting is, well, salty people, but um, it's not salt. It's, um, but what I'm getting, I looked up this energy. It's basically about taking and taking and taking and like, you don't need anymore. So it just kind of adds up and bulks up and gathers up and gets all yucky because there's no movement so it would be like you know collecting water and just because you know there's a water shortage but when you're not drinking enough of it it just gets really old and stale so like you don't need to collect all of that so there's some sort of an energy like that okay this person may be helping someone that's ill um is also what i get but this person what i'm getting if there is someone ill um you know it really has to do with their own self as well you need to take care of yourself too. You need to go and work out and like get healthy. You don't have to work out, but get, well, yeah, you do. You need to have some body movement. Okay. Um, so let's see what else we have here for Virgo. Whoever's coming in, things are going to change. Um, it's, it's probably going to lead to something very highly committed. It's going to become, I think you're going to get married to this person, to be honest. I do feel though that this person travels a lot because uh, they have a lot of, of, look, we have the sun card here showing up again. They have a lot of people they help. There's something like that. Like, this person is so great. They're so, like, people want them there, right? We have the three of cups here. They may have a lot of friends or business companions or, like, people they do business with or, like, I'm getting, like, save the world energy here, ace of wands, seeing or ace of swords. I'm seeing the king of swords as well. This person may have a lot of uh, communication they have to do in person um, is what I'm getting or like they have to be there. Maybe they don't have to say anything because the King of Swords as well. Where did that go? That card was sticking out. The King of Swords as well. The sword is facing down. 
So maybe they don't have to say anything, but they want to be there. They want to know what's going on. They want to know all the gossip or or the struggles that people are having in their, within their business or within um, this worldwide organization so that they can help solve them. And so you're dealing with a worldly person here, um, Virgo, but this is a very special connection between the two of you. Um, I mean, if there is a third party, yeah, they're irrelevant. I'm not seeing none of that and I'm not looking for it. Okay, this is your message. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let me just see if I can, if there's another message that comes out. Healing, temperance card sticking out here. Um, you know, if there was a problem, I feel like you may have got yourself wrapped up in something, okay? Um, and maybe you needed help walking away from something or something like that, but your problems are going to be resolved when this person enters your life. I just saw 555 on the time. Um, so there is going to be a change. This help, this person may be helping you um, get something that you desire. It's important to stay playful with this person because that's what they find extremely attractive about you in this connection. Um, even though you have this problem, okay, you know, like it's okay to deal with it. But once it's dealt with, shed it and go move on. Um, you know, and get back to your playful energy, get back to going after your dreams, get back to your flirtatious energy here, because I feel like you are just as flirtatious as this person. And that's something they like about you, though they want to be in control. They like it when you like kind of pretend for a second that you're in control. <laughs> it's a little like a flirty thing. And then they're like, no, no, babe, I got you. Like, um, they'll, you know, um, maybe fumble with you in the bed or whatever. Like, no, I'm in control. Okay. That type of an energy. Uh, stay happy here. Um, there's a lot of playful energy I'm feeling, okay? So that's your reading. If you would like to become a member on my Patreon where I put exclusive videos, feel free to join the links below or book a reading for yourself. Bye for now.